Hey guys, it's me Rossax back with another enlisted video and it's finally time to explain what aircraft control surfaces actually do. What are combat flaps, what are takeoff flaps, what are landing flaps, what's a tail control, what's rudder, what's an air brake and that's pretty much all I can think of because that's something that's been requested quite a lot recently in the comments and uh, yeah we're gonna take a look at at least two different aircraft. First one we're gonna be using Using in the practice range the P-47 which has uh, most of the flaps that we need to take a look at and I thought having like a face-to-face -face conversation uh, would probably help like you know explaining things a little bit better that's why we have the face cam for today's video we're gonna go ahead and spawn I'm gonna slow down a little bit now if you look at the top left corner um, on the screen that's where you see all the the gears and flaps and throttle altitude and uh, true airspeed and all that stuff I'm gonna cycle through some of these flaps and you're gonna see now if we look at the wing right now there's nothing like there's no action happening right there and I'm gonna be toggling through the flaps right as we speak so you're gonna see the flaps are gonna go from up to combat from combat to takeoff, from takeoff to landing, and from landing there's going to be a very sad percentage of how many people aren't actually subscribed to my channel compared to those who are. So please do not forget to subscribe. Like, I'm going to pick up the flaps, we're going to pick up the throttle, otherwise we're going to crash. We're going to gain, gain some speed here, and uh, these three flap types are extremely easy to explain right let's make sure we just don't crash we need some sort of speed but you don't want to go too fast because you can obviously rip your flaps down we're actually going to be looking at the wing this time not every aircraft in enlisted have this uh, flap flapping uh, model then but uh, as we're going to speak i'm going to hit the combat flaps and now see what happens combat flaps right now you can see the flap actually goes down just a little bit then we're going to go down to the takeoffs it's going to go down equally a little bit and then when you finally go to the landings that's the big one that's gonna go way 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 down yeah high speed protect the flaps we are uh, slowing down a little bit so we don't rip them so starting off with the combat flaps so the idea behind the flap is basically to slow down the aircraft uh, now obviously in many different situations you might want to slow down the aircraft for a different reason and in this situation if you are having a, a dogfight with an enemy aircraft uh, theoretically you probably want to use um, combat flaps as I'm gonna engage them right now as we speak you can see so the flap goes down a little bit which slows down your aircraft and technically helps with the turning so basically if you're dogfighting with your enemy you should be able to eventually turn within the enemy's radius which should help you theoretically uh, to get your guns on the target first so those would be the combat flaps so basically they just slow you down to kind of help you with turning but in enlisted it doesn't always work because some of the aircraft actually turns better at higher speed now that's just a theory behind that um, again don't go too fast when you engage them because if you're gonna go super sonic speed fast once you engage them you can rip them off you can rip one side and the other side is gonna stay and then your aircraft is just gonna roll violently and you're probably gonna crash in that kind of situation if you manage to save it I would actually suggest you to rip off the other one as well so you can actually fly normally now moving on to the takeoff flap we're gonna slow down just a little bit and I'm gonna engage combat so we're gonna engage takeoffs there we go it's gonna go two steps down and it basically it basically tells you what it does so a takeoff flap um, sacrifices speed uh, by giving you a little bit more lift so when you are taking off from the ground when you are taking off from a carrier or something you want to run up and at the last moment before you go off the edge you want to hit the takeoff flaps it's going to increase the lift and it should be theoretically easier to uh, take off now i tend to use takeoff flaps whenever i'm uh, dogfighting the enemy in enlisted because i feel like it does the same thing um very similarly similarly as combat flaps but sometimes it feels like it's it's even a little bit sharper turning for me maybe it's just me 
he can experiment in dogfighting, but takeoff flaps basically increase the lift on your takeoff. That's the main uh, usage for it. Now, and obviously the landing flaps, as it speaks for itself, it's going to go way, way, way down, which means you're going to lose a lot of speed. My cat is absolutely crazy jumping around. You're going to lose way, way speed, a lot of speed, um, and it's going to create a lot more lift so for example if your engine is damaged or something and the, the airfield is far away or, or the carrier is far away you can engage the landings in hopes of having a little bit more lift so hopefully you'll be able to float a little bit further away and basically these flaps will assist you on a landing now in a combat situation where i can think of is once you start doing some turn fighting with your enemy and you end up in a situation where you're going to overshoot them and they're going to be on your six and that's definitely not something you want i usually just cut all the power i just cut off the power and i go full landing flaps so basically you're going to slow down as physically as possible you can with this aircraft that doesn't have an air brake to try and make sure that the enemy overshoots you and you are on his sex. So those would be combats, takeoffs and landings. Um, obviously, only combats, I guess, are kind of meant for um, fighting the enemy. The other ones are just assisting with takeoff and landing. But again, in different situations, you can probably find a situation where either of those flaps are going to help you fighting the enemy. Now, on the same aircraft, we can have a little look-see at tail control and a rudder as well. I'm just going to do a nice little turnaround here so we don't run out of the map. Um, so, the tail control. If we're going to look back to our tail, and I'm going to do up and down, so basically a positive pull up and negative down. You can see the tail control is that little flimsy bit at the end of the tail that goes like this. And basically that is what makes you, you know, either pulling on the stick is going to make you go up and pushing down on the stick is going to make you go down. Although in any sort of like a combat situation or anything, you don't really want to do the, the negative G because it's not very effective on an, like aircraft as such. If you want to go suddenly down, I would suggest you to roll over and use positive instead of uh, pushing on the stick and doing the negative. Um, that's about the tail control and the vertical bit of the tail, I hope you will be able to see, uh, are the rudder controls, which are these sideway wiggly flaps here. As you can see on the vertical bit on the tail, it goes left, right, left, right. And basically it kind of shakes your plane from left to right and you kind of start almost like crabbing um, when you're using them. Normally, if you only fly with your mouse and you do not uh, use your keyboard, then the rudder is going to be naturally involved into, you know, some sort of movement. But when you're flying purely with your keyboard and keys, there is almost no situation that comes to mind where you would intentionally use the rudder. There's only one reason and one situation where I personally use the, the rudder kick is when I'm low on energy, for example, we're going to slow down way here. We're going to bring out the flaps, cut down the power, and we're going to start climbing a little bit. Whenever I use the rudder is... Oh, well, we just ripped the flap. You can see we just had a massive, massive snap to the left because we just ripped off the flap. Um, whenever I am low on the energy, I'm going to try climbing a little bit. And I, and I need that last push to help my aircraft to flip around to start going the other way. Like, I'm gonna go full power now and it barely does anything and I would just do like a little rudder kick. I would just do a little rudder kick, rotate and pull on the stick and that would kind of help you to flip around the tail uh, at some occasions. But this was a pretty poor example. You should probably go a little bit more vertical when you do this. Otherwise, you can just roll and like fall out of the sky. I'm going to try again. We're going to go a little bit more vertical and you'll be like low on energy. Be like, come on, plane turn and you'd be like rudder kick, hops, pull. Well, OK, I went a little bit too far with the rudder, so we just rolled over. But you get the idea. Now we're going to jump into a different aircraft to showcase air brakes. And what else do we need? I don't even know. Right, here we go. We are in the Dauntless, SBD3 Dauntless. And you can see if you look at the top left, not only there's a sad portion of people that aren't uh, subscribed to my channel, but also there are air brake. There is air brake, I guess I should say that. And air brake is literally 
the thing, what it says, it slows you down in the air. For example, if you use JU87, if you use this and you go for a kind of a dive bomb thing and you don't want to have like a super fast speed when you go down because you might not pull up because you're going too fast. Um, you want to extend your air brake and I'm just going to hit the button for it, which by default I believe is H. Air brake is on. Oh, wow. Is it not modeled on this thing? Or it's on the... Or maybe it's on the bottom of the wing. Hmm. How do I know? Is it on the bottom of the wing? Yo, is it not modeled on this? Okay, let's change the plane. Yeah, I don't actually know which aircraft has um, air brakes actually modeled in the game. But you can see this flap here, which would normally you would use for your flaps. Um, it's kind of... Um, with holes in it and it is split in two so basically the top part of it should fold upwards and the bottom part of it should fold downwards creating like um you know a massive drag therefore slowing down the aircraft and therefore it would be called an air brake and i'm just gonna put up a picture or something uh to explain that a little bit more now that kind of covers the surface controls of an aircraft obviously i, I didn't mention the tips of the wings on the back which are the ailerons when you uh, at least on the keyboard when you press left or right the plane rolls it's just whichever aileron at that time goes up and goes down that's basically uh nothing too incredibly special so the tail controls are these horizontal ones the vertical tail here the rudder all of your flaps hide here some of the aircrafts don't have combat flaps they go straight from takeoff uh to landings and uh, yeah not all aircraft has air brakes which i kind of already explained and that's about it all the flaps does is just slow you down like there isn't a flap configuration that doesn't slow you down all of them slow you down it's just if you pick the right situation when to use them again thank you so much for requesting this type of video i hope you learned something new uh, i certainly did while doing research for this so it's kind of a win-win situation. Thanks again for uh, watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.